Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking more about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game which is coming out in August. In this past week the devs have released some footage on Johnny and Sissy showing their abilities and also showing their executions. And I have to say this looks phenomenal. I'm already thinking what are going to be the best team comps when it comes to the family members. Now we know that Gun is having a look at a few aspects of the game after the playtest because people have already voice their opinions on it and also you can see how some things are not quite working such as the mini game when the victim is engaged in a duel with the family member and you just have to mash a button so people are saying people will use macros in order to win that and they also having a look at grandpa and how his sonar is going to work now we know that to activate grandpa and to ensure that he levels up we need to feed him blood so from the three family members that we could play on the play test like leatherface hitchhiker and cook we know that cook is the one who can carry the most blood so the cook can collect up to a hundred blood that means that once he's full and he feeds that to grandpa grandpa is gonna level up because that's the threshold for grandpa to go up a level we also know that hitchhiker is quite good at collecting blood he's able to collect 90 but leatherface is a little bit worse so he gets a lot less blood from each collection and from attacking the victims he will collect a max of 62 blood that means that leatherface has to do two full runs of blood in order to level up grandpa and hitchhiker also has to do one full run plus a little bit more maybe he gets topped up by whoever in order to increase the level of grandpa now from the new footage of sissy and journey i've just noticed something huge sissy is able to collect 142 blood from the victims and around the map that is absolutely huge that is almost a level and a half now johnny is not that great johnny is just above leatherface and below hitchhiker so somewhere in the middle he can collect a max of 71 blood per run now all this is already making me think of team comps because we also saw the abilities of sissy and johnny so we know that sissy is the only family member who can hide in cupboards for instance and there's cupboards everywhere right even down the basement so this will make some really interesting gameplay but i wonder if she can crouch as well because that was gonna make her absolutely a monster now we know that hitchhiker can crouch and i think he is the only family member who can crouch which means he can really hide behind furniture and he can also hide down the bushes outside so this is already making me think that a team with sissy hitchhiker and leatherface who always needs to be in the match is gonna be absolutely a monster the sissy and hitchhiker will be able to collect a lot of blood amongst themselves and that means grandpa is gonna go up on the levels really really quickly if grandpa is really high level very quickly then the sonar is gonna be going off all the time which is going to allow the family members to triangulate where the victims are so sissy and hitchhiker will be able to sneak on the victims very easily like that and let's not forget that they both will be able to trap the environment sissy with the poison and hitchhiker with his bone traps so they be able to sneak on the victims and trap around them and i think that's going to be a really strong team comp for the family leatherface cc and hitchhiker watch that space another really strong team comp i think is going to be leatherface cook and johnny because cook and johnny they will also be able to triangulate where the victims are because cook can hear where they are and pinpoint their location and johnny will be able to see the foot tracks in order to pinpoint their location if we combine those two you'll be able to find the victims very very easily leatherface obviously is going to be on every single match he just needs to be told where the victims are because he is fast enough and he also can one shot victims if he revs his chainsaw enough People will just need to get good at the revving of the chainsaw because it can stall if you overdo it and also if you miss the shot on the survivor when you're revving it and it's on the red already, it will stall. So Leatherface players will have to get really really good at it. So once your teammates tell you where the victims are, you can go in and just one shot them. Either of those two teams are going to be really really great and I can't wait to play any more of this game. If you guys are living under a rock and you haven't seen any gameplay yet, just check out the link above which is a playlist of all the videos that i have compiled so far on this game let me know who you think is going to be your main and who you're most looking forward to play with and also let me know what else have you thought of team comps and how these characters can complement each other i honestly can't wait anyway guys this was just a really quick video i hope you enjoy it if you did please drop me a like and consider subscribing for more videos like this thank you for watching and i will see you all next time